Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. It is time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, right here for the big show. So, um, let me get some of this stuff closer to where I want it. How you, so, let's see, today's Wednesday. How you doing today? On It's rainy here and overcast and just kind of blah. But I am finally not having a blah morning it's wonderful hey listen when you get here if you would do me the favor leave a uh, comment down there like joe just did just say hi how you doing uh you're funny looking i don't care whatever um all that feedback is welcomed if you're watching on the live stream if you happen to be listening in your favorite podcast catcher that's awesome too as soon as you get a chance head over to seven minutes in the morning.com and uh, join us there. You can catch all the back episodes. You can leave comments on shows that we've already finished. You can even see me on video. So there you go. Uh, let's see what else we have going on this morning. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and mention before I forget, because see, I already did. Uh, since it's Wednesday, that means co-working night's coming up tonight. If you happen to be in the Huntsville area. Come by and join us from roughly 5.30-ish to roughly 9-ish, something like that, uh, at Huntsville West. Um, if you want more information on that, just send me a message here on Facebook. I'll get you to the right place. And again, you'll get to see me. I'll be there. All right, so this week, uh, I've kind of been working off of a rough outline Um uh, of this pattern we've been talking about this year. Stop letting life happen to you and start creating the life you crave. And I'm, I'm collecting a ton of good stuff to go in here. Um, and so we'll see that develop some more as we go throughout the year. But today I want to talk about systems. So, so far over the last, I won't say this week, but over the last few days we've talked about I'll look at my outline over here. We talked about how about creating control and creating a vision. Today, I want to talk about creating a system. And you've heard me. I don't think I have one close by here. Oh yeah, I do. So my bag is right here. So you've heard me talk a lot. If you watched any of the shows about my um, uh, about my composition books. This is my system, and uh, and I, well, this and the sticky notes. If you're watching the video, you can see over my shoulder sticky notes on the wall. I got little stacks of sticky notes here all over the desk. I carry them around with me in my bag. That's my system, and so the reason I point this out is because I don't want to get into the details of it today. What I want to encourage you to do is create a system that works for you. I don't care if it's sticky notes in a composition book or a whiteboard or uh, tattooing them on the inside of your arm. Really don't care. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that you have a system that works for you. Now, the reason that this works for me is because, you know, for the sticky notes and the whiteboard, it's very visual. It's easy for me to rearrange things. I can see everything at a glance. I can see what needs work and what doesn't. It's just the it, it it works very in a very complementary manner to the way my mind works, and the composition book. I'm, I'm a tactile learner, right? So I learn me. I learn by writing. So I write. I don't always go back and reference what's in there, but if I do, it's an, I, I know how. I've I'm, I've developed a system to index it and find the things that I'm looking for. But it's a system that works for me. Now, the purpose of any system, right? It's a it's a practiced way of doing things so that you know how to find them. It's like my tool chest outside. <laughs> I'll have to take a picture of this thing and show you guys. My wife looks at that and thinks, how do you ever find anything? But I have a system. I have the drawers are organized <coughs> into certain types of tools, right? So I know if I'm looking for a screwdriver or anything that, that works like a pair of pliers, that's going to be in this drawer. And so when I get 
things, and I, you know, over the past couple of weeks, I've acquired new tools. I take those, and when I'm deciding where they go, I think, okay, where would I look for this? You know, when I come back to to get it, where would I think that this goes? And then wherever I would think that it goes, that's where I put it. That's the system. So then when I come back and think, okay, well, this is pliers, it kind of goes and, all right, so that's where I think to look at, or, or would think to look for it. And so that system works for me. She comes along, my wife comes along and looks at it, and it's like, yeah, this is just random pile stuff up here. But it, so it doesn't work for her. The, so the same system, uh, my, my point here, I'm, I'm rambling on a little bit. My point here is that my system may work great for you, but the best system is the one that works for you. So I want you to think about this as we get ready to, to, uh, get underway with our Wednesday this morning. My question for you, what, you know, what system do you have in place? I mean, even even in terms of making sure you've got all your stuff before you leave the house, how do you do that? If you don't have a system for it, that's uh, then then you will probably uh, tend to leave things at home. If you don't have a system for tracking and getting things done, you probably don't get things done. All right. So I want you to carefully consider what systems you already have in place. If you drive to work the same way every day, that's a system, right? So identify what you already have, leverage what you already have, and then for the areas where you are not making the progress, you're not getting the results that you want, that's where we can do some work and help you create a system. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I am 99% sure we'll have a coffee shop show today. 98% 98% sure we'll have a coffee shop show today. Be sure and tune in for that. The coffee shop show.com get you to the right place. Um, yeah, that's it. If you're listening to the podcast, uh, be sure to head over seven minutes in the morning.com. Check us out here. If you're watching video, <laughs> if you're watching on the video and you'd like to get it, uh, on your podcast catcher, it's on iTunes. Stitcher, all uh, tune in, all the great sources for podcast. Brookie threw me off there. Brooks got a, a good comment though. The first time I've heard you mention indexes in your book, it makes sense now. So I, I haven't done it to this book yet because it's still in progress. Um, but when I am when I finish one book and I move on to the next book. I'll see if I can find one to show you guys tomorrow. I I look through the book I just finished to see if there's anything that I need to transfer into the new book. And while I'm doing that, I take... Uh, I don't have any over here. They're over by my other chair. Take a highlighter, like I mean, Sharpie highlighter or something. And I will... I'll just show you. Color the edge of the page right here on the back of the page. Right on the back side. So if I wanted to, rem- you know, if I wanted to find this page, you know, I'd color the back side of the page, and then in the back of the books where I make the index and the different colors, you know, have different descriptions, and then I can just fold over the edge like that and see the different pages that are color coded. Go straight to what I'm looking for. I also have a a, a convention of how I highlight things in the book. Um, names. People's names and book names are highlighted in yellow, things that need to happen, highlighted in pink, things like that. So I can just flip through the book, look for different highlighting, and understand you know, what I'm trying to highlight there. Again, that's just the way that I do it. Uh, if that's helpful, I'll, I mean, I'll go through that in some more detail uh, at some point. Uh, but it's just, the, I mean, that's, well, I've been doing those books for years. So that's the system that's developed over time for me. So that helps. I I hope it does. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Remember, uh, coffee shop shows coming up. uh, Co-working nights coming up. This show's coming up again in the morning. So be sure and tune in then. I'll talk to you then. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday.